And the fact is that Africans can't ever experience genuine democracy outside of being a free people. I mean, the, the, the uh, whole concept of democracy has been stripped away from African people by virtue of becoming colonized subjects and being forced to produce and reproduce life for somebody else and a whole social system now being brought into existence from that relationship. Now law and everything comes into existence to be able to reinforce and support that relationship of colonialism and slavery. There's no democracy in that. And that's not an illusion. And so without a power to be self-governing, and uh, with the situation of living under colonial domination where the colonizer gets to define the world, define democracy, and will let you participate up until the point that your participation presents instability, instability for the colonizer and for their system. And our existence and unwillingness to be slaves, the laborers for somebody else, that already presents a serious threat. And historically, our movements, our organizations, our revolutions that we've built to challenge the influence and to throw off, you know, the, the, the influence of the colonizer over our lives. It presents what's been characterized as a, a national, um, uh, 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 as a threat to national security, as J. Edgar Hoover said about the Black Panther Party in the 1960s. So, you know, with this, our participation in the elections, saying things like reparations, Black community control of the police, you know, an end to gentrification, exposing these rigged elections. We've been able to, through the electoral process, we've been able to, first of all, massify the demand for Black power, for reparations to African people, an end to gentrification, you know, uh, Black community uh, con uh, control of education, um, and, you know, and solutions for the, the whole healthcare system and things like that to be created and controlled by our community. We put that forward um, as a real legitimate solution. So we've been able to massify those demands when masses of African people to support those demands and to recognize them as their own interests on the one hand. And we've also been able to expose this sham called democracy in this country and the elections in particular.